The atrocities continue in Mariupol as U.S. announces more military aid. Russian President Vladimir Putin is claiming a victory, but the White House says otherwise. Here's Fox's Alexandria Hoff. The city's mayor is issuing a plea for a full evacuation as gruesome new images shows the horrors on the ground. <laughs> Evacuees breathing a sigh of relief, finally out of the battered city of Mariupol. Hell is what's happening there. Russian President Vladimir Putin claimed victory there, but others are not convinced. Well, it's questionable whether he does control Mariupol. Thousands of Ukrainian holdouts remain, including civilians trapped underground below a steel plant. Putin called off plans to storm the facility, opting to seal it off instead. And now accusations of mass graves near the city, burying up to 9,000, say Ukrainian officials, to cover the slaughter. The White House is responding with 800 million more in military assistance to Ukraine. Sometimes we will speak softly and carry a large javelin because we're sending a lot of those in as well. The announcement came after President Biden met with Ukraine's prime minister. The administration also tapped a three-star general to coordinate security assistance to the country. And President Biden is doubling down on his claim that Putin will never occupy all of Ukraine. What that statement does is it also signals that, okay, but maybe Russia will take parts of Ukraine. And it's unclear what our response to that is. A majority of Americans believe the president has not been tough enough against Russia, according to a new poll. This as the Kremlin tests a new intercontinental ballistic missile and levies new sanctions on high-profile Americans. It's a good group to belong to. Among them, Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby, Mark Zuckerberg, and Vice President Kamala Harris. The new aid package authorized by the president includes heavy artillery and ammunition for Ukrainian forces. Fox 7, Hoxton News.